I'm Bobby Lee from Square. This tutorial is an overview of the Square Inventory API. This API is used to adjust stock quantities and review changes for products in a Square catalog. It also lets you create applications to manage Square inventories programmatically on behalf of Square sellers. I'll walk you through how to create and search for catalog item variations, increase the number of inventory in stock, and lastly, update inventory by removing damaged stock. Building and maintaining an inventory amounts to specifying a quantity of stock for selected product item variations in the item library. And if you're unfamiliar, an item variation, for example, is a jelly donut, the flavor being the item variation. To create item variations, you first need to have a catalog item created in the API Explorer. To do that, set the API to catalog and the endpoint to upsert catalog object, like so. For testing purposes, let's use an existing item variation for jelly donuts. So set the endpoint to search catalog objects. Then set the access token to any app you'd like to test. Then set object types to item variation, and then add to query, add to text query. Then I'll type jelly in the keyword field and run the request. Make note of the item variation ID for our next example. Now let's switch gears and go over how to increase the inventory amount of this item variation. Let's say we received a new batch of 100 jelly donuts and we need to add them into the system. So back in the Explorer, let's set the API to inventory and the endpoint to batch change inventory. Set the item potency key then click Add Next to Changes, Add Adjustment, and paste in the item variation ID we just grabbed a minute ago into the Catalog Object ID field. Then scroll down to set the From State to None. Then set the Location ID from the dropdown. Set the timestamp to a time no more than 24 hours ago or in the future. So I'll do today at 9 a.m. Then set Quantity to 100. To State to In Stock, and lastly, set type to adjustment. Run the request. Now in the response, you see the inventory quantity is at 100 in stock units. Moving on to our final example. We're going to update the inventory to account for damaged product items. So for example, during a return inspection, the seller finds two crushed donuts. To track these two items, the seller must register the two donuts as damaged and deduct them from the in stock quantity. So back in the Explorer, let's clear everything out. Keep the same API and endpoint, generate a new item potency key, add changes, add adjustment, paste in the same catalog object ID, set from state to in stock, set location ID and occur at again to the same timestamp we used earlier, then set quantity to two because two were ruined, change the two state to waste, ensuring the item variation of jelly donuts is unsellable, and then set type to adjustment. Now run the request. And in the response, you see the inventory was updated to account for damaged item variations. See there's now 98 in stock and two wasted. So there you have it. We just went over three different ways of working with the inventory API. First, searching for catalog item variations, then how to increase the number of inventory in stock, and lastly, updating inventory by removing a number of damaged item variations from stock. If you have any further questions, let us know in the comments. Happy coding!